and baloney news. I have fucking baloney. These balonies, man. So this sign language translator at Nelson Mandela's memorial was a fake. South Africa's Deaf Federation confirms his movements movements had no meaning. So so during his memorial, this sign language translator comes on to the thing and starts signing no. shit that don't mean shit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who is this guy? What the fuck? Child of dreams of a future where black and white, rich and poor, men, women, and children must live side by side, dreaming the same dream, realizing at the crucible of time in our land, we salute you. Why did you ruin Nelson Mandela's <laughs> memorial, dude? Oh, it's like one of the most biggest worldwide mourning type of thing. Yeah. You have a guy fucking up on the translation. Did he really think he was gonna get away with this? Like, did he really think? He did though. He, he did, did get away with it. <laughs> but anyway, isn't there like they go they go through some type of screening and like tests all that stuff before all the <laughs> shit happens, right? So what the fuck happened? They were saying that he suffers from schizophrenia. Oh, on stage? Uh, no, just in life. On stage, just on stage. <laughs> <laughs> in life. So what were some things that they were saying? He was saying. Well, he he was just, it was gibberish. It didn't mean anything. Is there any examples on like, <laughs> so like, it's like the pigeons went on the turtle <laughs> and the turtle sucked the camel's dick? It probably went something oh, like that. Fuck. Wait, so all the um, hearing impaired people that were watching, right? <laughs> fuck. They were like, what the fuck is going on? Maybe so, you think Obama's saying that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's worse too. That's the worst thing. It's like now all the like. Obama's fucking weird. <laughs> What if they're like, Obama lost it? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Our president fucking lost it! Yeah, no, he was just making up signs as he went along. So, they, I don't think they meant... They didn't mean anything. So he wasn't even talking about turtles. He, it was just signs that didn't mean anything. What if they... They didn't. They, they they didn't get a translator, right? Or like a um, sign language guy? They're like, you! And they're like, yeah. They're like, who here knows sign language? And he's like... I kind of do. <laughs> He's like, I love you. Or what if he snuck into the show and they're like, oh, great, you're here, come on. <laughs> He's like, oh, fuck. Like, figure tiny. All right. <laughs> what if someone was like, who here drives a blue Corolla? But then at the same time, they're like, who here's a translator? So he answered the Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, great, we need you, yeah. come on. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> they just put him next to Obama. He's like, what? <laughs> Did he get in trouble or anything? I hope so. I don't, I don't think he was. I don't think anyone knows who he is. Yeah. So he just disappeared. He just ran away in shame. No one knows the name of the man who interpreted. <laughs> Still remains a mystery. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. This is this so. is supposed to be the nation's like highest security. The like, president is there. Yeah. Our president yeah. is there. <laughs> like he's the highly guarded person, and like this guy got past all that. What is it? <laughs> You're like, who was he? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you knew him. No, I don't know him. I thought you hired him. He said he knew sign language. So this guy, Delphin <laughs> Hillen one J, in an official South African sign language interpreter said there was zero percent accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> he he couldn't even get the basics right. I I guarantee you it's not that schizophrenia is like a excuse. He probably snuck in and the nation was too embarrassed to, to like let people know like this fucker suck, snuck, in, snuck in like a high security place. In Beyonce news. Beyonce. Whatever. <laughs> I know, right? Damn, yeah, like just like that girl. I like her. She's cool and she sings well, but I just, I don't click with her music. What, you don't be like, oh, my single ladies, oh, my single ladies, oh, my single ladies. No. Oh, yeah, you're not single. You know what why. it is? Yeah. Her songs are so fun to sing. To you, because you know how to sing, okay? I'm more like, da -da 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 -da. that's not even normal singing. I love singing her songs, but listening to them, I find that to be slightly more difficult. But I love singing her songs, though. She makes me proud to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Like when you listen to it, it's like, yeah, us girls. And then yeah. I remember, oh wait, I'm a dude. She's a great role model. She's very empowering. Anyways, she got news though, because she announced and released her new album on the same day, at the yeah. same time, and she kind of just dropped her 
super album with uh, 14 songs and 17 videos. What? what? 17? Everything was just all ready to it's go. It's a visual album. It's a visual album. Wow. wow. Um, there are 31 songs, yes. right, on the album. Um, and there's, it's featuring Jay-Z and Drake and Frank Ocean and even her daughter, Blue Ivy. So um, it's it's crazy. People have been tweeting about it. Wait, the they... baby, the baby. How old is the baby? Isn't it just like she? she maybe she's just doing that. <laughs> but the, the song is about her, and it says it's like featuring her. I don't know why it says uh, that, but but yeah, Justin Timberlake co-wrote a bunch of songs. Um, Pharrell, Timbaland, Ryan Tedder. To be honest, she write her own music. They try to push her as like co-writer, writer, but I'm pretty yeah. sure she's just... I was trying to find something that I might like, where I'm like, oh, well, at least she writes her own music. Sometimes you just like, you can't have everything, you know? She's got like the power vocals. She's a good entertainer, though. She's a great yeah. entertainer. Yeah. Damn. Because when they record her, or like when they interview her, she's just very low-key, very like mild. But when she's on stage, that woman is fierce. Yeah, because her name is Sasha Fierce. How come she's Sasha? That's like a German person's name, right? Like She Anna, said, she uh, said when she's on stage, Russian. she's another person. That's like... Me becoming Uncle Chin. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Same exact thing, actually. Yeah, but there's been a lot of buzz about this album. Um, Twitter said Beyonce's album release generated over 1.2 million tweets in wow. 12 hours, with tweets per minute spike of 5,300 per minute. Wow. 5,300 tweets per minute about that album. Yeah, like when it comes to marketing, you're just advertising your album. She doesn't have to anymore. She just, no. just drops it, and everybody would just talk about it. Out of no way, man. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Here you go. At you at buffet. I know you're not hungry. I know you already ate, but here's the buffet. Yeah, and even <laughs> Katy Perry was like tweeting. Her. She's like, she's like, don't talk to me any, don't talk to me about anything today unless it's about Beyonce's album. Thanks, and that's what she put. On her, wow, on her Twitter. what a really cool, what a cool Crazy. chick. Yeah. Well, I mean, I heard Katy Perry's just cool as hell. Like she's just like the cool one that gets along with everyone. So. Am Lord is a lucky girl. I bet her boyfriend gives her free manicures and pedicures. <laughs> Oh shit, that's fucking wrong! Lord called every member of One Direction ugly. Please look at Lord's boyfriend. 